Happy day, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't yet and you'd like to, like, subscribe, comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Hit that little bell. When you hit that bell, you'll get notified when I upload new content. So, welcome back to my channel. If you watched my previous video where I went thrifting, I did find something there. Okay, guys, so I'm a little weary about this. I got this at Goodwill. Goodwill, it was 10 doll hairs. It is the Bedhead Textrovert um, Ceramic Texture Iron. It's supposed to make your hair, I guess, look like that. I don't know. It has not been opened. So that's, I did not clean it because it has not even been opened yet. So we're gonna try this out while researching this tool, which it is very odd. It looks like kind of like a knife, which kind of was like, hmm. When I was researching how to use this and watching videos how to use this, this actually got rated as like the worst styling tool ever, ever. But today we're gonna find out. So let's pop it open and see what's going on with this. Okay. Yes, this one's no one. Dude, this is hard as hell. Okay. There we go. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Okay, so it does have a little swivel thing at the bottom. There's no temperatures, but you do, you could decide, I guess, how hot you want it. it does have an on and off button. I'm just, let's just plug it in and see what happens. I don't know. Oh, and it came with a heating glove, so you don't burn yourself. I never really use these, but maybe I should today. This is all new to me, so let's see what happens. Okay, with instructions, while this is heating up, I'm just gonna glance over these. I really shouldn't glance over them. I should actually probably in-depth read them. Because, like, you turn it like this, can't even see it. So how's everyone's day going? I hope it's going good. Such riveting content. Me opening a wire. Okay, so let's plug this in. It's going to heat up. While it's heating up, I'm going to read the instructions. Okay, so it's on. So let's read the instructions while this heats up. A little, a little scary. How to get the look, prep your hair, blah, blah, blah. Starting with the bottom layer, I have it. That's why I have my hair parted already. I'm gonna turn it in the position for a few seconds, then pull the iron out from the center of the curl. Repeat the process until desired look is achieved. For added lift and texture, apply bedhead joyride to the ends. But how does it, so you have to pull it, you don't unwrap it, ooh, this heated up fast. Okay, I guess we'll just dive right in. Let's see. You have probably all seen my getting ready video. I wonder if that's too much. Oh, let's just try it. Ooh, scared. So it says to do it, but leave the end out like this. So it says a couple seconds. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, it's not brushed out with my fingers yet, so we'll just continue and see what happens. Looks a little boxy, but I guess we'll just see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna do the whole bottom layer of my hair and then we'll come back. Guys, the bottom layer of my hair is done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest and I'll be right back. So guys, I did one side of my hair. I feel like I'm from the future. That's what I feel like. So I did do one side. This is not brushed out or anything yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side and I'll be back. Hey guys, I am back. I just got done using it. Now, A, I think it definitely would take a lot of practice. And patience, I mean, I kind of, I kind of like this. They're gonna scale from one to 10. I mean, I kind of look like I just put my finger in an electrical socket or just look insane. But I give it from a one to 10, maybe like a six, seven. I think the more I play with it, like I get what they're going for. I'm not gonna completely hate it, but on a scale of one to 10, I would give it like a six, seven. I don't think it's the worst. And this is just me being honest. I have no affiliation to bedhead, don't really care. But I don't want to knock it because I get where it's going. 
I'm just not sure if I'm the right person behind the wheel to get it there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got it. But I mean, it's not bad. It's really not bad. I think if you really took your time, like I said, had patience, I get like the look they're going for. They're supposed to be straight down here and they're supposed to be like, wild and crazy. Like, like kind of like her. Kind of like her. So I get what they are going for. It's just, I'm, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm the right person behind the wheel to get there. Again, again, guys, I think you just have to play with it a little bit. I'm gonna turn it off. I think you just have to play with it. One thing I did like about it is this bottom part. It was very easy to maneuver around. I really like that. Um, the fact that you only do one inch and um, that it kind of makes it go fast. It's just something different. There's just something different about this, obviously. That is foreign. So like I said, I think with a lot of practice, you could come up with a really cool look. Again, I don't know, maybe my hair is not the best. I don't know. I mean, I really don't mind it. It's kind of neat, but I'm just not sure. Like I said, if I was the right person steering the car. So, that's my honest review of the, what the hell is this called? Texturevert. The Bedhead Texturevert Frizz Free Lived in Texture Get the Look. Styler, again, this was rated the one of the worst beauty tools as I was watching the videos on how to use it. But I don't think it's the worst. I just don't think it's the best. I think with a lot of practice, it might be pretty neat. So, there's my honest review. Again, I did get this at Goodwill. The, a lot of the videos that I did watch on this, a lot of the people got it on sale, so I guess it wasn't very popular. I don't know. I don't know. So guys, if you like that content and would like to see some more, like, subscribe, comment. I love hearing from you guys. Share with your friends. Hit that little bell down below. You'll be notified every time I post new content. My P.O. box is listed down below. Send me some fun things for me and JB or just some love. I love you guys so, so much with all of my heart. This has been so much fun. Your support means the world, world, to me. I love you all. Thank you for all the support. You, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.